Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be doing in class is counting, and we're going to start out with counting in base 5. Now, counting in base 5 is not like counting in our normal system because we only go up to the number 5, and really the number 5 doesn't even exist. And we'll talk more about that, but what we're going to need for our counting is some pencils, and we like using pencils. They're just easy to bundle up. We're going to need some rubber bands, and you can see I have a couple different kinds for whatever. So let's just go ahead and start counting. We'll also need our place value chart, of course. Duh. So our first place value is our 1s, our 5s, 25s, and 125s. And any bigger than that is huge, and we're just never going to talk about it. So here we go. So right now we have one pencil in base 5, which is one base 5, two base 5, three base 5, four base 5. Now when we add the fifth pencil, this number does not exist in base 5 because it just doesn't. I don't know why. It just doesn't. So when we get five pencils in our ones, we're going to go ahead and bundle them up like this and we're going to take our bundle and move it and this is now one zero base five so i'm going to put a placeholder here so one zero base five okay so we're going to go ahead and keep going so i'm going to take away our place value we're going to start now we have one one base five 1, 2, base 5, 1, 3, base 5, 1, 4, base 5, and bundle this guy up, because we have five pencils, and he gets moved over here. So now we have 1, 2, so 2, 0, base 5. Okay, let's keep going. So we have 2, 1, base 5, 2, 2, base 5, 2, 3, base 5, 2, 4, base 5, and 5 pencils, another rubber band. Now I realize that this can get pretty tedious pretty fast, but doing it this way makes a lot more sense than having to draw it out, which we will also be doing later. So what do we have now? We have one, two, three, three, zero, base five. And we're going to go ahead and keep count. Okay, so we have three, one, base five, three, two, base five, three, three, base five, three, four base five, and when we add the fifth pencil, it gets another bundle. Uh, wrap it around. Okay. And this guy gets moved over here again. So again, we have one, two, three, four groups of five, and zero ones, so that is four, zero, base five. And we're going to get to a tricky part here. We're going to count again. So we have 4, 1, base 5, 4, 2, base 5, 4, 3, base 5, 4, 4, base 5. And here's our fifth pencil, and we bundle it up. Now some of you might be able to guess what is about to happen, because if you look at my pile here, which is now ginormous, it's huge, it's taking up like the whole paper, we have one, two, three, four, five groups of five, which if you were paying attention earlier, we know that the number five doesn't really exist. So what we're going to take are five groups of five, we're going to bundle them all together to make this one giant bundle, and this is one group of 25, and it gets placed here in our 25s. So right now we have one, zero, zero, base 
five. And I think you kind of get the gist. Every time you get a group of five pencils, you move it over. Okay, so we'll talk about it more. And um, great.